Welcome biologists, this session where we're going to be taking a look at the structure of carbohydrates including monosaccharides, disaccharides and polysaccharides. So to start off with we need to have a look at the differences between alpha and beta glucose and then move on to how they're joined together. So a monomer, this is a single unit whereas a polymer is a, a several monomers joined together. So a monomer in this particular case, because we're looking at carbohydrates, are called monosaccharides. So a monosaccharide is one unit of sugar, if you like, one unit carbohydrate. Di stands for two. So here we've got a disaccharide, which is made of two monosaccharides joined together, or two carbohydrate units joined together. And a polysaccharide is a polymer. So this is where I've got more than two joined together, such as starch. So here we have our two main mon monomers that you need to know about here with carbohydrates. Yes, you do need to be able to draw these off by heart. So it is worth pausing the video, covering up, drawing it out and doing it several times until you've drawn them correctly. Now, the key thing here, the differences between alpha and beta glucose is that here on carbon one, so you can see carbon one here is on the right hand side, the OH and the H group have switched sides. Uh, so they're on alternative sides and you do need to use that carbon one terminology there so wherever you've got this oxygen here this oxygen bond with the side chain sticking up where the oxygen bond is so the right of that is carbon one two three four five and then carbon six up at the top and it's the same in alpha so wherever you've got that oxygen and the, the side chain up at the top then you've got carbon one two three four and five and six so the main difference here is that they've, they've both got six carbons in them. However, in, in beta glucose on carbon one, OH and H are the other way around. Got a different orientation. So uh, the other one we need to know about here is a pento sugar. Now, um, the other two we looked at then, alpha and beta glucose, they are both hexo sugars because they contain six carbons. However, a ribose sugar contains five carbons and therefore is a pento sugar. Now, ribose makes up um, RNA, uh, which you will meet more when you get onto nucleic acids. So that's the structure of... Uh, those monomers that we need to know about, we're going to now going to have a look at the disaccharides and polysaccharides in a little bit of detail. So if you remember correctly, the disaccharide is two monomers joined together and a poly is many joined together to form those glycosidic bonds. And yes, you do need to know this off by heart. You do need to be able to draw this out. So here I've got my two alpha glucoses. And as we mentioned in the previous video, wherever you join two monomers together, you're removing uh, water which is really important in a condensation reaction to form a covalent bond now the covalent bond here in carbohydrates is called a glycosidic bond and here because it's joining carbons one and carbon four in this particular um drawing uh, this particular bond is called a one to four alpha glycosidic bond it's carbon one to four joining up between the two different molecules and it's a glycosidic bond because it's a carbohydrate and it's an alpha glycosidic bond because it's made between two alpha glucoses so that is there we are if i was to break that bond it would be a hydrolysis reaction to form my two monomers again so that's a disaccharide i can do the same with my beta glucoses uh, if in the beta glucose though, however, because on carbon one, my OH and my H are the other way around, this means that this whole molecule here has to orientate itself 180 degrees. That's from the math scheme, that orientating 180 degrees so that my OH here um, is next to my OH of my first molecule to form that glycosidic bond. So you can see here in beta glucose, when I get more than one beta glucose joining together you can see here that each alternative beta glucose molecule has orientated itself 180 degrees you can easily see that there by the side chain here sticking down and then that one's up and then that one's down and that one's up and so on and so forth now this particular bond is called an al a beta one to four glycosidic bond it's still joining carbons one and four except it's beta glucose it's a beta bond now the last thing that we need to know here is uh, the different components that make up these disaccharides. And this is very, very popular on multiple choice questions. So I'm afraid that it's just a, a, you've got to learn that table uh, to make sure that you can recall which monosaccharides make up which disaccharides. Uh, so there we have it. That's specs point uh, C and D. Good luck in your exams, guys. All the best.